So I uh, really like my Ryobi uh, uh, batteries and uh, let's see if I can put it um, and uh, Ryobi equipment. But what happened to me is this battery yesterday when I was trying to uh, well let's see which way does the camera go there we go when I was trying to use this battery yesterday it was completely empty well, I just put it in the charger and nothing happened it didn't want to charge so what you do is you need to get yourself a screwdriver set like this one that has those little uh, holes in the middle I don't know if uh, this camera picks it up but basically these screws okay uh, they will a regular star uh, tip will not fit but you have because there's a little uh, nibble in the middle and so you have to get yourself a, a tip like this so this fits right there and there are five screws one is on the top and four in the corners and one of the corners is going to be plugged by the same color uh, uh, plug as this uh, this color right here so it almost looks like uh, there's nothing to see there but what they do in there is they are hiding the fifth screw or the fourth one in a corner if I uh, don't count the one on the top so what I did is I just took a, a utility knife and with the utility knife I just uh, basically uh, uh, plugged it out so um, now uh, if I um, uh, if you take these screws out then if you hold this bottom uh, correctly then I'm gonna slide that side uh, then you can uh, take this whole top off and uh, once you take the top off you you uh, you end up with this and to pull out this whole thing don't grab it by this piece in here that sticks out you want to just uh, unplug these here these two clips on the side and by the way they are inexchangeable so it, you don't have to remember which side it came uh, from and now you can gently uh, take out the battery pack there we go okay and so now you end up with this battery pack all right and the way I did that uh, basically reviving because if you hook up a, any charging uh, into this connector in here which is this part here uh, it's not going to charge because this board here is uh, controlling how much juice goes in or out and uh, here's the solid state uh, um, switches basically if you if you will uh, that control uh, this is controlled by that board and it's not going to let any juice in because the batteries drop below a certain voltage now there's two ways you can charge these batteries up and you don't have to charge them much uh, I have a um, Ryobi uh, power supply programmable power supply uh, on the other side of the room and uh, what I did is I set it up for, uh, for 4.4 volts at 5 amps, but yeah, any 4.4 volts will do. Don't do any higher than 4.4. Uh, 4.2 is really recommended, but uh, it drops a little bit of current uh, once you apply. keeps doing that there you go it's an economy mode battery thing uh, I apologize for that anyway so then what you do is you take uh, you take the plus and minus probe and you have to watch which is plus and which is minus the way you can tell is that uh, this larger circle uh, is uh, I'm gonna move it in this camera's view uh, that's minus and this little uh, smaller circle uh, on the battery is the plus and so what you do is you put the plus uh, on this side here in this case the battery is here 
and then on the opposite side is therefore the minimum, the m minus. And then what I did is I just with the probes, I just basically touched it like this, the plus to plus, minus to minus, and let it uh, sit there for a few seconds. And then I did the other uh, other set, another set, and then I reversed that because then the plus is on some, the every other is plus and minus. So it's uh, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, okay, and same thing on the other side. And so what you want to do is you want to just take your probes and uh, from whatever the voltage source you're going to use, uh, I bet you that it's going to work even at 4 volts, but you need to have a little bit of amperage. And what happens is that these batteries, uh, these are called 18650 batteries, these things here, and uh, when they drop below certain voltage, uh, this uh, this mo this motherboard basically, this PCB here, this controller, uh, will forbid it to be charged because it dropped below certain voltage, and it's usually uh, below 2.5 volts. And uh, so then you basically just put in a little bit of voltage. You don't need current uh, as much uh, for this board to turn back on, and then. I remeasured it and now I was getting measurement of 3 volts or 2.8 volts on each battery. Then what you do is you put this back uh, in the case like that. Then you slide back these uh, uh, these clips and it goes in only one way and you're going to find out because it's, it's not going to let you really put it in in the wrong direction. So I'm doing it through the camera, so it's kind of a hard to. Uh, I might have to do it off the camera, but there we go. You you have to depress. This is a spring loaded. See, it's spring loaded. Okay, we got the one side, and now we'll put in the other side. There we go. Then you put back the lid. And what I did is I didn't even put these screws in yet. And I sticked it in the charger and it started charging. So you're done. Uh, once it starts charging, you're done. If not, repeat the process and then you'll be just fine. Okay? So then just charge it. And if the batteries are so bad that they will not take that little charge and that it doesn't retain the at least around two and a half volts. Uh, then uh, the charger will never be a, a, allowed to charge the batteries. So make sure that the, each battery is charged up to at least two and a half volts, 2.8, three volts, somewhere there. Uh, at, at least you are two and a half or, or better. Thank you for watching and put the likes up and subscribe.